Hey guys, welcome back. This is section 1.8 in my pre-calc class and we're just going to do some brief examples with combinations and compositions of functions. When we see the term combinations, this is pretty much just talking about any kind of arithmetic like addition or subtraction. My pen's acting a little funny here. Or, you know, multiplication or division. You know, so we can just do basic operations dealing with you know functions so you'll see different types of notation you'll see if I got something like f of x plus g of x that just tells me I'm gonna take f of x and g of x and combine like terms you can also see it differently if you have f plus g of x. Now a lot of people confuse this. They think they got to multiply by x. This is, is again just telling you right now that you got to add f and g. So both of these things mean the same thing. So if I'm adding f and g, I'm just taking 2x plus 1 and I'm adding that to g of x which is 4x plus 2. Combining like terms, 4x and 2x, that's 6x and 1 and the 2 gives you the 3. So that right there, 6x plus 3 is the equivalent of f of x plus g of x. You can do any operation. So if we actually wanted to do f times g of x, that tells us that we're just going to take f of x and multiply that by g of x. So f times g is going to give us 2x plus 1 and multiply that by the 4x plus 2. And so then we just have a FOIL. So 2x times 4x is going to be an 8x squared. 2x times 2 is going to be a positive 4x. 1 and 4x is going to be another 4x. And 1 times 2, that's going to be a 2. Combine some like terms here in the middle. And we're going to get 8x squared plus 8x plus 2. So that's just multiplying them. We can make up any operation we want, really. And let's say we just make up one here of h divided by g of x. Well, again, all that means is you're going to take h of x. My pen is really funky here. Sorry about that, guys. And divide that by g of x. And so all I have to write, well, h of x is negative x minus 1 divided by g of x, which is 4x plus 2. And that's our answer there. There's nothing else we can simplify for that. So when you see that notation, just combination, don't make it any harder than it is. You're just combining like terms if you're adding or subtracting or multiplying. You probably do some FOIL or some polynomial multiplication. But that's all you have to do for combinations. So now let's take a look at what we do with composition. Now composition of functions here, okay, you're going to see the notation here with composition. You're going to see that open circle. Okay, when we do this. So if I have f composed with g of x, that notation tells me that you are doing f of g of x. This is where the function g gets plugged into the function f. So it's always the second one right here. So g right here, all of this is going to go into x right here. So that means I'm going to have 2x minus 6 plus 3. And combining like terms, the minus 6 and the plus 3 is going to have 2x minus 3. Now another thing we can do here is if we go the other way. G 
composed with f of x. That tells me that f is going to get plugged into g. So let's see if I can pick a different color here. So f, all of this, x plus 3, is going to get plugged into right here. So I'm going to have 2 times the quantity x plus 3, and then minus 6. And I just need to combine like terms here. So I'm going to distribute the 2, and I'm going to have 2x plus 6, and then minus 6. Combining like terms, we'll see that the 6 is actually cancel out, and we're just going to be left with 2x. So that's composition when you actually plug a function into another function. So the last thing I want to show you is just kind of what it'll look like on, a, on the quiz or test here. Okay, so here's some quiz or test examples. I've got three functions that are given, and we've got f of x is 2x plus 5, g of x is negative 3x plus 4, h of x is 5x plus 2. Here's three problems that look like they could show up on, on your quiz or test. Here's h plus g of x. Again, no multiplication going on. This is an addition of two functions right here, h and g. So here's h. Here's g. We're just going to add and combine like terms. So you're going to have 5x plus 2 plus g, which is negative 3x plus 4. Well, if i got 5x and negative 3x, that tells me I've got 2x. And 2 and 4, i got 6. Now this one looks a little different. I got f plus h, and then I got a 2 here. Well, all that means is you're going to plug that in for x after you add the f and the h. So right here, f and h. So I've, I know I've got 2x plus 5. I'm going to add that with h, 5x plus 2. And combine like terms here, and that's going to give me 7x plus 7. Now, because I have the 2 here, I've got to plug, plug in the 2, and I'm going to get 7 times 2, which is 14, plus 7, and that will give me 21. So I actually get a number for an answer for this when I have a number here. Here's the same thing. i got a composition going on, and then at the end i got to plug in a negative 1. So if you remember the order here, the second one here, G, has got to go in to F. So G, this negative 3X plus 4, has got to go into F. So where there's an X, that's got to go in right there. So I'm going to have 2, and then I'm going to replace the X with G. That's going to be negative 3X plus 4. And then don't forget the plus 5 there as part of F. I'm going to distribute. So I'm going to have 2 times negative 3x. It's going to be negative 6x. 2 times the 4. It's going to be 8. And then the plus 5. So I'm going to have negative 6x. And then 8 and 5 will give me the 13. And now I can't forget, i got to plug in negative 1. So I got negative 6, negative 1, plus 13. So negative 6 times a negative 1, that's just going to be 6, plus 13. And that gives me actually 19 for an answer. So don't forget at the very end, after you do the composition, I plug in that negative 1. So hopefully that helps as you going into the Chapter 1 test, uh, just dealing with some functions, either combinations or composition.